my dear Taurus, this is a love reading, a prediction for the month of January with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. As an extended member to this channel, you will get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And there's a reading up 2022 love prediction for the full members to this channel and the gifts of 2022 reading is up for all the members to the channel where we reveal what you have to look forward to in 2022. Extended and full members can also order readings from me with a 30% discount after the holidays. Subscribe and then check out the many perks through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. I can recommend that you rewatch the previous love reading for December to get a context and this is the prediction for January. And I will start reading your cards and I use the Golden Universal Tarot with Roberto De Angelis. When I open your deck here, I see the Eight of Cups in the reverse with the Four of Cups. So something has made you um, like have a really bad taste in your mouth. Um, it's something um, that you're really tired of, something that might have recycled itself. Uh, maybe come back and presented itself as, you know, a new offer, but it's the same old, same old offer in your eyes. Okay, so I call the divine with love and light. And here we have the death card in the reverse with the four of cups, also in the reverse, 13, 1 plus 3, 4. Uh, so these two are connected, but it seems as um, two people that have disconnected themselves from uh, each other or a group of people even that has disconnected themselves. Uh, so I'm trying to understand this, what has happened here, because the person, okay, so I'm thinking there's a person that have been trying to get out of your life or leave you alone or, you know, um, be left alone by you. Uh, but it might be that this person has recycled themselves. Um, or you might feel their energy that they want to come back, but you're not thrilled about this because, yeah, the same old, same old. So I call the six elements and here we have the um, hangman, six of swords, again, showing unavailability to be able to move on, being stuck and four of cups and, and you don't want to take the offer or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe you want this person's attention, but they never want to take uh, your offer and, and you're you know, stuck waiting for them, stuck longing for them, stuck wanting them, and they are just indifferent and just think that things are going to be as horrible as they were before, uh, or they are scared of something that might not have to do with you, it doesn't have to be personal, okay, um, or they're just not interested, that can be the thing as well, so six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Taurus viewers. So I want my dear Taurus to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. Okay, so I'm just going to tune in for a few seconds here to you and the person most on your mind and your relationship in January. So this is the new bottom of the deck, 10 of pentacles. So that's something that has a legacy. It's not just, you know, being wiped away from one day to the next. can happen if there comes a tsunami, but uh, I'm definitely feeling legacy here. Something that's uh, pretty solid, okay? And this is the old bottom of the deck, seven of cups. So then here we didn't know if this situation had legacy or if it, it was like, a, you know, the thing or the important thing or the, the thing that was most important for us. We were maybe a little bit puzzled. Maybe we didn't know our feelings. So um, this is a longer story. I think it's like this that uh, we are with a person that doesn't have uh, the correct feelings for us or we believe that they don't have the correct feelings for us and we are puzzled about this we don't know it feels maybe as if they have the right feelings but they are acting their acting is not it's telling us that they don't care 
And um, we don't want to be stuck in this illusion. So we don't want to stay, you know, loving this person and uh, wanting this person. Or we don't want to recycle this person into our lives because that would be stupid. It would be naive. It would be reckless. It would be self-destructive and a lot of number of other things. So we're trying to reason with ourselves uh, to let the person go or to be able to move on or to um, not recycle the relationship the um, 10,000 times. Uh, so that's where I'm thinking we're at. So this is um, what's on your mind with the person most on your mind. This is situation with said person. This is what's on their mind with you. Uh, your behaviors and attitudes. Um, the uh, bond between you. No, not the behaviors and attitudes. This is your feelings. Bond. Their feelings. Sorry. And this is um, your behaviors and attitudes, the outcome for January. And this is their behaviors and attitudes. So we start with a situation here. And we have the fool. So someone is, um, you know, open and trusting in this situation and feel, I, I feel love in my heart. I can't let this go. It needs to be the right thing. This must be, you know, I, they feel like this. They feel like uh, this is... Uh, this is right, this is correct, this is my person, or this is the um, people that should be my friends, or this is the work that I should have, I want to have it, even if there's a number of things saying that, no, this is not a good idea, but I feel in my core, I feel in my soul, this is the right thing, uh, I can't help by being naive in this situation, uh, I want what I want, okay. And here is what's on your mind uh, with the person most on your mind. So you feel very connected to this person here. We have the three of cups instead of the four of cups. I want to see their side to things as well. And this is what's on their mind with you. Um, so it seems as if in many cases it will be like this, that the Taurus wants to reconcile the situation, want it back. And the other person says, hell no, um, I'm not even going to think about it. It was self-destructive. It was horrible. We hurt each other. Um, we are not good together. We are a bad match. <laughs> I'm saying no. Okay. And you say, but we had a lovely time. I felt so connected with you. Uh, when I was with you, uh, everything uh, like fell into place. Uh, I felt uh, just uh, at home when I was in your arms. Um, so if this is not, you are not recognizing yourself, then probably you're on this side of this reading. Okay. And this is, um, the bond between you two and it's a five of cups in the reversed. Uh, so at this point, people don't want to be disappointed over and over again. And, um, this person doesn't want to be disappointed over and over again. You don't want to be disappointed over and over again. So I think both of people are trying the best they can with their methods to avoid um, disappointing both the other person and themselves. But you just have different methods. One is saying it's best if we keep, you know, our distance. Um, I'm thinking I'm hearing a song. At this point, I don't know the song. I'm just, I heard a melody to this. It is best if we keep our distance. Uh, so I will uh, see if I can find that song for you. Um, so this person thinks it's best to that you keep your distance and you're you're not supposed to come together or tempt, tempt like have that temptation to uh, to go back together because they think it was um, very disappointed for pointing and heartbreaking for for both of you. Uh, while you probably feel like hope that they, this could be fixed. I know more now, I'm wiser now, <laughs> might be disagreed here with a fool, uh, but I know what you mean, it comes from the soul, it's the conviction that this could be fixed, we could sort this out, uh, we could have better conversation, we could understand each other better, we could, you know, it could be fixed. And this is your feelings, and we have a nine of cups in the reverse, and their feelings is the justice uh, in the reverse so this is harder to fix because neither of you think that you did the wrong thing uh, and that it probably was the other person <laughs> that was at fault and then it's really hard to fix and probably the logic person are, are right in this case because if we can only see our own perspective and you know just see as far as our nose is reaching um there's no solution to this problem and we can't be naive enough to think that 
it's just going to solve itself because of love because there's not really love in this situation is people uh, looking out for themselves and and pointing fingers a little bit is what i'm seeing that it was you that made this happen no it was you that made this happen uh, so is there really love or is this um, um <laughs> that's not a song that i can agree with but is it love or is it fantasy? Maybe it's a good song, but it feels like an like 80s song that we probably bored uh, off. Is it love or is it fantasy? That I'm feeling, yeah. Um, so, um, at this stage, I I feel as if it's mostly fantasy. We might have felt like really connected with this person, but it's also a little bit indicated that this might have been a trauma bond. Um, we felt love because the person hurt us in the same way as, for example, our parents hurt us. So we think, ah, oh, this must be love. <laughs> this must be love. It feels, ah, oh, pain in all the right places. Yes, uh, I can't live without this person. So that's your trauma bond. Um, so this is your behaviors and attitudes. Uh, so it actually seems as you are trying to force uh, feed your love onto someone uh, that's um, that doesn't want it or try to, you know, make someone change, but they don't want to change, uh, make someone see things in another way, but they don't want to see things in another way. We can see they're very stubborn here, set in their ways. And uh, this is probably very hurtful to you when a person is acting like this and still you want them. So what is that saying about your trauma that wants, you know, company from, um, you know, um, a current event <laughs> and here their behaviors and attitudes. So not a very nice uh, energy, not a very supportive energy. Uh, you come here with your love and, and they want to, you know, um, like they're angry with you because you come and try to persuade them. Uh, into uh, love okay so i all want to see their intentions behind this brutal facade photograph looking at your photos missing you nostalgia make new memories so it's a it's as much a battle on the outside of the person as on the inside of the person um, that they don't want to be reminded of you because they probably have sweet memories too as you have but they have decided it's illogic to try to you know, because of the sweet memories so to relive that type of hell. Um, and we are not allowed to stalk other people or, you know, uh, just because they might feel love for us. Um, they still are allowed to have their own, uh, take their own decisions here. So any other intentions? Hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, integration, interrogation, repetitive, working on it, date meeting someone new so this person they want to state that this is over it's never going to be you and me I'm going to find someone new and that's that okay and this is your intentions we have self-indulgence focus on self-worth time to heal shadow work self-appreciation so you're still drawn towards this person because in some way uh, their behaviors attitudes is a key to your healing it's something that you need to see with this it's not that you need to be with them you need to understand why you are drawn uh, towards a person and that's, um, you know, where the relationship end up in misery and sadness and heartbreak. So uh, it, if you understand that, you can heal and, and uh, you know, repair yourself. And then we have the cassette. So this is an old uh, tune that's playing. That might be why this, this old songs. Um, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Uh, so I'm thinking it's the trauma bond that's replaying itself over and over in, in your head. Because when we are small, we learn love from our parents or the people that take care of us when we are growing up. And our first love is also very imprinting like that. Uh, so if we had bad examples, we will look for more bad examples to give us more of that faulty love. And it's really hard work uh, to change that cassette player, uh, to change the tape uh, to another tune uh, but it's definitely worth it because it's very hard to have healthy relationships when we are drawn to the very thing that will hurt us the most so another intention girl with a snake 
empath and narcissistic paradigm being charmed or used enable boundaries so you need to have these thick boundaries that this person had both towards you and 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 themselves i think you need to install it too i love the sweetness of your fool and uh, you know your ever never dying love here uh, but um, the reality is this um, girl with the snake or boy with the snake uh, doesn't mean that this person is a snake it's just that they can't just maybe show human emotions okay uh, they seem a little bit rob robotic at least right now and at least in this circumstance so uh, reunion in the reverse so this um, reconciliation is not happening uh, as of now but the important message here is you know deal with your trauma bond why do you fall in love with a person that doesn't want you maybe when they wanted you you didn't want them but now they don't want you and then you want them so that can reveal something as well okay um so moving on is the theme here to be able to move on but healing needs to happen so i want to see advice for you uh, moonlight 51 47, uh, 52, 51. <clears throat> Your intention allows you to see beyond the mundane, logical and analytical. Follow it. Moonlight beacons come and trust your intuition to lead you into places that may not seem logical. <laughs> Um, your hunches will be right on target. Resist second guessing yourself or your alternative perception is especially sharp right now. You can see beyond the surface of things and truly read between the lines. This is a good time to use oracle cards and other systems of divination to gain information. Remember that the language of intuition is a symbolic one. It comes as uh, subtly through a hunch, tingling, clear sound, an animal or an object crossing your path. Spirit is sending you messages to help you now. Success is yours if you follow the signs. And you have, and the signs have led you to this person's doorstep. And they say, oh, hell no, I don't want this. Please leave. Uh, but um, this card says that your hunches and guesses are right. So probably this person, you know, they miss you. But uh, regardless of that, don't care about that. Focus on what is. Because the universe says, this person says no. You're not going to be able to reconcile, reconcile the relationship. Not at least not now. And you're still drawn to this relationship. So what does that tell you? Okay, for me, it tells, uh, for me, it says that work on this cassette. Uh, try, you know, take it seriously. Uh, go to counseling if you need to. Find out why you're still being drawn towards a person that hurts you. And maybe that will solve this wall. And uh, maybe when you have, you know, solved your issue, maybe the person will feel different about this relationship. And your hunch was right. Yes, they still love you. And yeah, you will be together forever and ever. But that's not important right now. The important thing, solve the cassette, solve the trauma bond, uh, move forward. Okay, don't be stuck, uh, be imprinted with you know, a faulty set of tools when it comes to relationship and love. And, you know, the wrong thing is triggering you to feel love. And the wrong thing is triggering your endorphins, maybe even pain, maybe even being abused or, you know, being treated harshly or cold or ghosted makes you feel, ah, oh, now I feel so much love. Oh, this is exactly how it should feel because that's how you were imprinted. Uh, but it doesn't mean that this has to go on forever. But you need to take this seriously. Uh, you need to put effort into this and, you know, uh, solve the issue within you. Uh, so I'll also see what they would tell you if they dare to tell you the truth. And we have, um, I'm lost without you. I'm not sure if the, all the cards were in the reverse or no, it's just this I'm lost without you. Uh, they don't want to be lost without you, but they probably are a little bit lost. But it just makes them, you know, pissed off with you even more because they want you to, you know, leave them in peace and quiet so they can find someone new. I didn't believe you when you said you loved me. So probably they feel also that you are in love with a cassette, like you are imprinted on certain thing. So they are not sure that you love them for them. You, They think that you only love them because they act mean towards you now. Uh, <clears throat> I miss you more than I want to admit. 
well, we could see this or I could feel this uh, with this photograph card, but it doesn't really help. Um, this person don't feel worthy of love. That's probably their, uh, you know, thing. Um, they feel as they couldn't live up to your expectations and be the person that you could love unconditionally. Uh, and uh, now they don't want to even try. Uh, so that's how they feel. And I think this is not a best time to engage with this person. You know, try to leave them be and um, uh, see later on when you have come further along in your own healing what's happening. I love you more than words can say. You seem to agree upon this here. Um, and someone will always get hurt. Uh, you agree upon that too. I didn't believe you when you said you love me. And uh, so you know also the logic reason. I had to be brutally honest. Um, so I think you understand the reason for being brutally honest here. And uh, maybe you have been brutally honest at a point as well. And this is their answer. Okay, now they will be brutally honest with you forever and ever. Uh, <laughs> because maybe that's their pain that someone has done them like treated them unfairly and their survival technique is to freeze that person uh, you know out for the rest of their incarnation uh, so it might be that this is a little bit vengeance that we are seeing as well uh, but it doesn't change you know the verdict focus on healing the cassette move forward don't get don't be stuck in this trauma bond thingy heal that stuff you know do whatever you can to heal it and then we'll see maybe your love story would look will look very different after that okay so my dear Taurus, i would urge you to watch their true thoughts and feelings to get more information about this situation or love prediction to learn more at my first channel page, you will find a playlist for your astrolog astrological sign where you can watch all the latest readings for your specific sign in one single playlist. On the end screen, you will see a link to that playlist, so go and check it out. And thank you for watching and take really good care until next time. Happy holiday season and a happy new year. Bye-bye.